here is our Roku streaming stick 4K. Now, this is the new version that has just been released by Roku, the 2021. It comes with the 4K HDR Dolby Vision. It also comes with improved internet. And this is the upgrade of this. This is the Roku Streaming Stick Plus. So this was the original. Here is the new one for 2021. It's more powerful than ever and it has ultra fast startup. So let me show you what our streaming stick normally looks like and I'll show you why it's such an interesting value for yourself. So a traditional streaming stick, it hides. It, it will just connect via HDMI right inside and you can hide it. So there's no dongles, there's no wires um, other than the plug to plug it into the power. Now let's open our streaming stick 4K and let's look at how it works. All right, so what you see is what you get. What's included in the box is that you're, we got the Roku streaming stick 4K, the voice remote, batteries and a cable with the long, uh, long range Wi-Fi receiver. Now what you'll need is your own internet, a router and a TV with the HDMI port. And this is going to be coming with Dolby Vision. So Dolby Vision requires a compatible content and television. Now that is the key difference between this and this. So both of these are going to be extremely fast in terms of their Wi-Fi range. Um, they're both have are both both can pair up with five gigahertz spectrum. Second, they're both going to be quad core. That's really good. Now, what's the difference? The Roku streaming stick 4K is going to be coming with Dolby Vision. So that is a big difference. Second, the cord on the Roku streaming stick 4K is considerably longer now than on the, than the previous model. Because let me show you what these Roku streaming stick look like. So this is the Roku streaming stick. You notice that the one drawback is that this is your receiver and the cord itself was relatively short. This is only about a foot long. That means you would have to use an extension cord or figure out a way how to extend this longer. Roku changed that here. It, now they give you a much longer cord and I'm gonna show you that cord. Secondly, the remote control is the standard remote that you see on your Rokus. This is what it looks like. And it's a standard remote. You have your shortcut buttons and you have all your keys right there. And how does this compare to other Roku? So we have other Rokus here. So you, we have the Ultra, we have the Express 4K. So the Express 4K is the most affordable of the bunch, but this is gonna be only coming with the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. We have the Ultra, which is the premier version of the Roku's where you're gonna get the Dolby Vision Atmos, you get the the long range, you also get um, faster wireless. I mean, this is kind of their, this is kind of like their flagship version. I think the Streaming Stick 4K is really the version that is just, it just blends in with your space. You just plug it in because their HDMI cable is attached. There's no dongles that you need. And I'm gonna show you how I set it up on mine. Let's set this up. Now we got to plug. All we got to do to turn this on, I'm going to plug it in. The cord is long. The cord is long now. So you no longer are you subject to a very short cord. I plugged it in. Now I just got to plug this into HDMI. So we're going to plug this into HDMI 1 and let's set it up completely. So on my Sony X950H, we're going to go to our Roku, Roku 1. I'm going to show you how easy this is to set up. We're going to take our remote for our Roku. We're going to hit OK, looking for wireless networks. You guys notice I can pair with 5G and 2.4. This is updated. This is going to be completely set up. This is going to be very easy and fast. So here is your Roku stream. And we are again setting up our Roku streaming stick. We are setting this up right here. M and boom. Now we're good. So activation has been set. Now let me just go to our, let me just go to my email. I'm gonna activate it. It's done. It's gonna automatically refresh this screen now. Updating channels. And again, it's only been about what, five minutes? It's just really uh, the setup. You can do everything in about five minutes. So once this channel update is finished, we will be ultimately paired and I'm gonna run a speed test on this to show you our data connection. We are all set up. We have set up our entire device. It hasn't even been 10 minutes. And you have your home, you have all your various devices. Now, the best thing about this is 
the the buffering on the streaming stick because you have that faster internet because you have that faster processor there's no real buffering right everything just appears pretty much instantaneously and that's fantastic now we're going to go into our settings and in the settings i'm just going to show you one more thing we're going to go into network we're going to check connection so this is going to let me know what the speed of my connection is so we're just letting it do its thing and then I'm going to let you know what I'm downloading it at. So if I was at 2.4, I would probably be at about just 5 megabytes per second in my studio, maybe even 8. So now let's see, since I'm at 5.0, here we are. We are at 178 megabytes per second. That is very, very, very good. Very good there. Now let's look at other features you can do. Now everything else here is pretty similar to all your other Roku's where you're gonna have easy things like remote devices, theme, if you wanna pick um, your screensavers and things like that. You can just go to theme, I can set my screensaver. Let's make our screensaver the Magic City. And not only will I make the Magic City, I'm gonna be turning my wait time to one minute. Perfect. And if I wanna, if I have any questions on how to utilize my Roku, I can just go to my help screen and in help, I'm going to be having tips and trick. Here you have a video library where you basically have all of the Roku, um, all basically all of the Roku tips all there for you. So let's say you want to add a channel to your Roku. It has a instructional video on how to, to add a channel. Channels.